Shalom Aleichem, dear friends, how are you doing? So, it's Motzei Shabbat, but I was not able even to think about making the Havdalah live on Facebook, but I couldn't stop myself from sharing one amazing point that is walking with me since last week. If you remember last week we spoke after the Havdalah on that... Um, the name of our holy nation, the name of Israel, that it's built from certain letters Yud Resh Aleph Yud Resh Aleph Lamed Yud Shin Resh Aleph Lamed Israel and And I told you that those letters building the verse that is Kel Shaddai Ten Lachem Rachamim that the Creator that his name is Shaddai he will give you mercy he will give the mercy in your hands and i explained it to you in a way that you can watch it all online and and to check it again but i wanted really to clarify something for you to understand that's our mission that's our destiny that's what we need to do that's how we can serve the purpose that the creator will send us to serve in this crazy world in the darkness of of this world of the exile behind the curtain of physicality the mission is to reveal the real mercy of the creator because we all know that many people and basing their wisdom on 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 verses can tell you always it's all for the good the difficult things that happen to you are coming for a purpose there is a higher reason for all of that and it's true sometimes the creator he can do something in this world and it will look horrible in our eyes and we won't be able to understand but after looking deep after the fact after a long time after many years or whatever looking back you see you know what there was a lot of good in it there was good it taught me a lesson it gave me tools it built me in a way that I wouldn't been built without that very hard challenge difficulty that I went through so you cannot argue that it is a way of revealing mercy, but we cannot understand it. Those are not the mercy that we were wishing to receive. It is mercy, but it's the mercy of Hashem. But Hashem is telling that Kel Shaddai, the Creator, that His name is Shaddai, He will give us the mercy. Means that He will give the mercy in our hands means that the Creator wants us all to fight for that, that we will understand the mercy that are running the world. That if a person needs a house, that we will pray for him until he will have a house. Not until he will know that it's all for the best. He will give the mercy, the kindness to your hands that you will understand what it's all about. That the message won't be so divine and high and complex to understand and to relate to. No, no. He will give you the mercy in your hands that you will decide that if that person needs money, we will pray for him until he will have his money. When that woman can't have children, we will pray and cry and tear the sky to pieces until that woman will have children. And that is the promise that the Creator is telling us by telling us, Your name is Israel. I will give the mercy, my mercy, to you, that you're going to run the world by your understanding, with merciness that will be understandable to your people, to your generation, to the followers of, 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 of your nation, to people that love our nation, to people that care about our nation. Everyone will enjoy this blessing. Thank God from heaven, Hashem Yidbarach helped. And this week, the first edition of my amazing book, It's Too Much For You, went out to the world. And also three children books that we translated now to English. Thank God, and soon will be in more languages. First Spanish and then more. And I really suggest for you guys to help us and to buy those books and help yourselves that the light of the Creator will be revealed in the world.
in that book it's too much for you I brought I wrote those stories of students of mine people that I am I know those people I care I help those people in many ways it's part of my life story and also their life story very inspiring stories and I promise to you after reading that book you will understand many many more lessons and advice your wisdom will expand to know how much the Creator is with you how much he cares and loves you all and also I promise to you that people that you are not so sure how to reach out to them and how to help them if you're gonna let them read that book it's too much for you you will see that those stories will make a big difference a big change in their life through the stories you can bring down a certain light that no classes of Torah or wisdom will will hit to that point to those people so those are amazing super inspiring stories that are telling about the real source real source of energy and good and faith of this world connecting every person to the Creator so I bless you all to enjoy this week from an inspiring uplifting week from many many amazing experiences and and great things I'm going on a tour tomorrow morning from New York toward Florida and we're gonna visit many cities along the way and on our way back from Florida through Alabama and many other places as well so please pray for us for all of my family and for all of the Amuna family that we will succeed that the Creator will help us to spread the light of Emuna, Emuna with H in the end, Emuna don't forget Hashem, not to believe that you need to be religious, ridiculous, Emuna that you need to be close to the Creator. So be strong and help us with your prayers and with your support and from heaven they will bless each and every one of you with much happiness and success. Amen. Can you hear that song?